Hey guys, it's WQ Rebecca. I am back. About 50 minutes ago, there was a 5.7 earthquake, Bourgainville region, Papua New Guinea, and it actually came in a bit higher than a 5.7. I believe what I had seen to begin with was a 5.8. So we're going to look at the seismic data for this earthquake, and we're going to click on this one. We can see that there's 5.8, 6.0, 5.9, 5.6, 6 6.2, 6.0, several fives of 3 3.2, 6.0, 5.8, 6.3, 5.8, 5.8, 6.0, 5.6, 5.5, 6.0, 5.8, 6.0, 6.3, and so on. So that definitely could have been bigger. I've already marked this into my Google Earth here. We'll take a look here. These are faults, just so you know. Those are the transform faults that run through this way. Then you have the Killen Nala Trench over there. It's a convergent boundary. Then you have the continental rift boundary there. The oceanic convergent boundary is here. You have the transform boundary here. And that is the Australian Pacific, Australian Pacific convergent boundary there. Then you have trenches that is here. And that is boundary plate here. And this moves at 89 millimeters per year. So this is where the earthquake hit. This is Tor Volcano. Actually, it is a stratovolcano. That's Bailby, which is a stratovolcano. The other one is a cone. So I keep clicking the wrong one. Tor is a lava cone. And then you have Ambitil, which is a stratovolcano over here. So our other earthquake that occurred today was over this area, and it was a 6.2. So we're having an earthquake here. Let's take a look and see if there is any news on this earthquake yet. Volcano Discovery has posted news. Um, they state a strong magnitude 5.8 earthquake occurred in Solomon Sea near Teof Island. Papua New Guinea in the early morning of Monday, June 10th, 2024, at 2.28 a.m. local time. The quake had a moderate depth of 125 or 78 miles deep and was reported felt by some people near the epicenter. No significant damage or impact is expected from this quake and no particular alert was issued. So, that is coming from Volcano Discovery. And the last 5.8 in that area, the Volcano Discovery list is a month ago. That was a 5.8 in Panguna, Papua New Guinea on Thursday, January 7th, 2021 at 3.52 a.m. And that was in January. So January, February, March, April, May, June, six months ago. They listed one in that area. And then March 8th, there was one in Paguna, Papua New Guinea, Wednesday, March 8th at 2023, in 2023. So that was 2023. So it's interesting to look through and see what new states, because they'll state the different dates. So there has been a few 5.8, 5.9s. It was also August 22nd, 2020. There was a 5.9, July 21st, 1971. Wow, that's history, though. It's interesting to look through the history and news and stuff and figure out when these earthquakes occur. Okay, you guys, hope y'all enjoyed the update. 
I hope to not have to be back today with another big one, but you never know. Let's take a look at earthquakes as of right now. I don't think there's anything big. I just talk, talked about California a little bit ago. Um, sorry, I messed up. In the video itself, um, I stayed in South Carolina instead of Southern California. And I said, <laughs> I said Gulf of Mexico for Gulf of California, but it is easy to mess it up because when you're looking at the United States, this is the Gulf of Mexico here. This is the Gulf of California, but the Gulf of California is in Mexico. So it is easy to mess that up and say the Gulf of Mexico because it's in Mexico. So that is easy to mess up. I don't know why they made this the Gulf of Mexico and this the Gulf of California. I, I just don't know. I mean, you would think that this would be by a different name, but hey, that's easy to mess up. And then I also had put I had stated Southern California, and I was thinking about something to do with South Carolina, so I mixed that up too. So anyways, I apologize. I was still half sleepy this morning. Anyways, you guys, I hope you all have a great day, and hopefully there won't be any bigger earthquakes today. I'm still watching California and watching the plate as it continues to move. Anyway, um, let's do this real quick while I'm on here. I want to look at just fives today. Let's do 5.0 to 6.0. We'll do to 6.4. And we'll search for just today. I'm curious. as to today. So we can look and see. Hello, Moto. One second, you guys. Hang on one second. So today there's been a 5.3, a 6.2, a 5.1, a 5.0, a 5.0, and a 5.7. Busy, 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 busy. This is the Pacific Antarctic, which is actually moving. These are going to be aftershocks, of course. Started out with 5.3, then the 6.2, and then three aftershocks to that. And now a 5.7 Bourgainville region, Papua New Guinea. Okay, you guys, I hope you all are doing well, and I uh, hope you all have a great day. Much love.